Hi, this is Julie Thompson reporting from IAB's Digital Video Marketplace. I'm here with Cheryl Main, SVP of Research, Analytics, and Measurement for IAB, as well as Danny Hong, from, who's a manager at Bain & Company. Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hi, thank you. <laughs> so you two just got off the stage. You held a town forum, a town hall, basically, an open discussion on the topic of GRPs in digital. So tell us about that. Do you want to start, Danny? Sure. Um, you know, it's part of the Making Measurement Make Sense initiative, the 3MS initiative that uh, the IAB has been partnering with the ANA and the 4As on. And one of the pillars of our solutions was a digital GRP, which we felt is critical uh, to grow brand advertising in the online space. I, I was uh, pleasantly surprised by all the questions that the audience asked. So clearly this is a hot topic. And I think it's a hot topic because to a lot of people, GRPs are an antiquated metric and they don't understand that in the digital world, GRPs do have a very basic counting mechanism that will work to promote cross-platform planning and buying. So like it or not, GRPs are not going away and the sooner we find a way to have a good, credible, audited GRP, the better it will be for all cross-platform brand measurement of advertising. Yeah, I mean, it's, it, we've heard this throughout the day that standardized metrics really will help the industry move forward. And in your practice at Bain, I mean, how, how often does this come up as a topic? I think the reason why we embarked upon this project with the IAB, the ANA, and the 4A is because what we found when we worked with our media clients, that measurement was one of the biggest problems to uh, really realizing the full potential of marketing dollars. And so that's why we actually embarked upon this journey with the 3MS project, because we've seen that time and time again. Yeah, and it, it sounds like adoption or agreement on um, what that denominator is, is, is coming um, slowly but surely. And you, you think adoption will be in like 2013, is that what you said? That's our target. Um, it'll roll out over this year, but I think 2013 will really be the year of the digital GRP. And what are you hearing from IAB members on this whole topic <laughs> every day in and out? Uh, a lot of what I just said, which is when you speak with digital natives who don't come from the world of marketing and media, they look at the GRP as something that's rather long in the tooth and it has outlived its usefulness. Um, there's also a lot of apprehension among those who do understand that it's a counting mechanism and there's apprehension that once you have GRPs and you have reach and frequency across sites and across platforms that the scale of reach numbers for some of our publishers will be rather small and clearly the utility of GRPs and of reach and frequency measurement is because we want to facilitate big brands spending lots of money across all media and in that world small reach is not necessarily a bad thing. Many large brands aggregate lots of small reach because they need to be in various places at various times in front of various consumers. So the scale argument I don't think is nearly as scary as a lot of folks may think it is. Um, Anything else you want me to say about GRPs? I mean, it's a, it's a basic counting mechanism, but you could talk a lot about it. What else would you like to know? <laughs> right, well, it's, it, it is interesting how something so, what you'd think would be so simple is so complex. So, best of luck to both of you on that. <laughs> Thank you very <laughs> but, much. But um, also on the um, Media Ratings Council, I want to say, like, how are they involved in this? Well, um, when we embarked upon 3MS, and that started with the issuing of an RFP from the IAB, the 4As, and the ANA that went to a select number of blue chip consulting firms and Bain won the bid, one of the things we required was, please, in the course of the work being done for 3MS, come up with a recommendation, a structure, a plan, etc. for a governance body and governance is a loaded word so I have to be really careful but the fundamental idea is a change management organization that can 
see into the future, set priorities for measurement, set the methodological standards, and also audit the quality of the work being done. Absolutely right. I just want to echo Shell's statement, which is it's so critical that there's an ongoing governance body to continue this work. This marketplace continues to evolve. It can't be one-off initiatives. It needs to be an ongoing effort, and the MRC is the right place to do that. Thank you so much for, for doing it and pushing everyone forward on it. So um, congrats Thank on you. your session. Great. Thanks <laughs> Thank so much. You. Thanks Thank so you. much.